Hey guys, it's Alex real quick. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about Flex Fuel and let me wipe the camera as I go so I can look good for the people. Um, so what is Flex Fuel? How does Flex Fuel work on a Mustang? Now a lot of people out there think Flex Fuel is when you look at the pump and there's a Flex Fuel um, pump or selection. That's not what we mean by Flex Fuel. Okay, we're working for Lund Racing. Their Flex Fuel means this. You can run with a Flex Fuel tune and the proper injectors depending on the vehicle. You can run straight pump gasoline, regular gasoline. Then you can go ahead and put 100% of E85 or a mix of both on the same tune, meaning it has the capability to be flexible between gasoline and E85 regardless of the mixture, basically. And the tune compensates for it. Basically what it means is if you have a 15 and a Mustang, you get a flex fuel tune, you can, and you have 91 in the tank right now, upload the tune, drive around. When you get close to zero, close to empty, you can fill up with E85 or a mix of pump gas and E85 or pump gas again. The car will learn the ethanol content. If it's pump gasoline, it'll be 10% because <clears throat> pump gas is 10% ethanol everywhere. If it's E85 and it, it's pretty good, um, it'll actually learn that feature. So I received a data log today that actually shows that and I wanted to show you guys exactly what that looks like on our end. The customer says log 23 is 91 pump gas, log 24 is E85. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my end and kinda give you the sort of general sense of how we look at it and how it actually selects how much timing it gets and learns the ethanol content. Okay, as always, I just point the phone to the screen because I'm lazy and uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at this gentleman's data log. He said this one was on 91 pump gas. You go to the pedal and there he is. He goes what? Not only once but twice. Obviously he's driving around here. So let's zoom in on the last wide open throttle log. You right click, drag it over and highlight all of it. Now he said he was on pump gas. Okay, pump gas. But it looks like to me when AFR matured, meaning it learned the ethanol content, so it goes from zero to one, that means it learned the ethanol content and the alcohol percentage, AKA alkyl percentage, is 32.2. So he must have had a little E85 in there or some kind of ethanol because he's basically on 30% ethanol. So when we scroll and we see how much timing the car saw, where is it, S-A-F-T-O-T, it's all 29 degrees, man. The thing's happy at 0.9 load. I mean, the car is super happy. It's flying. It's doing really well um, on 30% ethanol. And then you look at the short trims and everything, they're pretty well within spec, AFR. Everything's pretty darn good. Now let's go ahead and look at the um, log 25 where he states he's on ethanol. Look how many logs I got. Man, that's a lot. All right, same thing. Deselect all items, RPM stays up, go to pedal, and you widen the graph, and you take a look. Oh, there he goes, goes watt twice. Obviously, he went two, three, or three, four here, but let's right drag, boom. He said he's on E85 on this log, and look at that. Alcohol percentage was learned to 72, so he's basically on E72 right now. The AFR mature flag is goes from zero to one. Short-term fuel trims, oh, this is... I'm over here, okay, he's on D cell, so let me put it here so you don't think the tune's jacked. Okay, look at that, the fuel trims, again, learned, learned the ethanol content and it's not wigging out. So that is basically what a flex fuel tune is. On E85, he saw 30 and a half degrees, it's a little happier on more ethanol than 30% ethanol as you saw before. So I wanted to show you guys how it looks on our end. When you're on pump gas, we know how much ethanol content is actually in the tank and that one learned about 30% ethanol. The E85 that was uh, the log that he sent us was about 72%. Both got learned because he did the learn procedure properly and then he ended up making some wide open throttle hits and the trims were perfect because it learned the ethanol content. The wide bands do the work on these cars, no ethanol, no E, no, what do you call it? Ethanol sensor, a flex fuel sensor needed like Chevy guys. Um, this, these cars do it on their own and Lund uh, Racing provides a flex fuel tune and you can see the trims are good. It's all a little more timing and it's basically the same car, same tune, just two different fuels on the same tune. Remember, same tune pump gas, then he just filled up with E85, same tune, 
sent me back a log and you see the difference. So a little more timing and learn more ethanol. Just want to give you guys a real quick video of how flex fuel tunes work from Lund Racing. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.